free men at last. A momentous moment not only for them personally, but politically too. Around 900 prisoners will be released as part of a prisoner swap between Saudi Arabia and the Iran-backed Houthis. The exchange will happen over three days, part of a deal reached in Switzerland last month. The International Committee for the Red Cross is overseeing the transportation of these men to Saudi Arabia and Yemen, among those being freed, Yemen's former defense minister and also the brother of the president. The result of negotiations between the two sides to seek an end to the near nine-year war. I think that the visit of the Saudi ambassador to Sana'a has actually moved uh, this, uh, this uh, 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 prisoner exchange, uh, even though Sana'a have sent a clear message to Saudi Arabia that they are ready uh, for a full exchange uh, of prisoners in both sides, which uh, uh, could be about 15,000 prisoners. Of course, it's a, a quite significant step. Uh, uh, it's deepening the mutual uh, trust between the legitimate government and al Houthi, and also uh, paved the way to the peace uh, plan in Yemen. Yemen's UN brokered six-month truce officially ended in October, but still largely holds. The recent diplomatic push comes as the two main players in what is often called a proxy war have made peace. Last month, Saudi Arabia and Iran agreed to end their seven-year diplomatic rift and re-establish diplomatic ties in a deal brokered by China. In a statement, the U.S. Special Envoy for Yemen said that Yemen is witnessing an unprecedented opportunity for peace. A significant moment, most definitely. However, finding common ground between Saudi Arabia and the Houthis for a long-lasting peace will take more work and more time. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera.